Welcome friends. Uh, today we are doing the tasty fluffy omelette. Um, last I checked it was about 11 million views. If you uh, if you put in omelette it's the one that comes up at the top. We're pretty close to the top. I think there's a Japanese omelette that comes higher. Anyway so this this tasty fluffy omelette um, gets some pretty bad reviews on the tasty channel in the comments section. And the first thing that we need to do is I'm going to whip together the whites and then I'm going to whip up the yolks and then we'll talk a little bit more about the recipe. Now, you definitely want to whip the egg whites by hand um, with a really good balloon whisk. You don't want to use an electric mixer for this um, for the same reason that you don't want to use cream of tartar. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, you should put cream of tartar in. No, you shouldn't not in this recipe um, because you don't want to over whip the whites. If you over whip them they get to a state where they start to get dry and then a liquid seeps out the bottom and you don't want that to happen. You want this to be nice and silky smooth and I think we've reached that point. Next you whip up the yolks and it's perfectly fine to go from whites to yolks but never go from yolks to whites. Um, that is an absolute. So that's the yolks pretty much done. You get them to a nice, um, they turn a pale yellow and they're glossy and they're really nice. Now, in go the yolks into the whites. Um, the tasty video shows them carefully folding the yolks into the whites with this whole idea that you don't want to deflate the, the, the beaten egg whites by folding in the yolks um, too aggressively. Here's the deal. This recipe is essentially the recipe from uh, La Mer Poulard in um, Normandy. It's a restaurant at Mont Saint-Michel in Normandy. They also have uh, outlets in Manila and Tokyo, I believe, at this point. So this, this restaurant in France has been making this since the 1880s. And it is a fairly common French omelette recipe. And you want to whip them together. So after you've whipped the egg whites together, you can absolutely whip in the yolks without deflating it. And what you'll get um, is this really nice, silky, smooth... Look at that. It drips off so nicely. Um, and that's one of the reasons why you don't want to beat the whites to, to stiff, stiff peaks. Because if they're too dry, you're not going to incorporate the yolks. So, um, kudos to uh, Tasty for, you know, trying to tell people to do something the correct way. Because um, in most instances, you really would want to just fold it in. But in this instance, you, you want to whip it in. And if you, if you look online, I'll put a link down below at the restaurant in Normandy, um, they've got copper bowls, which absolutely, um, if you're one of the 20 people in North America that has a copper bowl, that's how you should be whipping your eggs. Um, there's, a, any, there's a chemical reaction between the copper and the egg white. And so these guys at the restaurant in Normandy, they, you see them and they're just sort of doing this rhythmically. Um, and that is whipping it all together. So this is beautiful, silky smooth, tiny little air bubbles, and it's the color of, I don't know, clotted cream. Absolutely wonderful looking. I've got a, uh, I've got a nonstick frying pan here on the go on low heat, um, low, medium, low. You don't want it to cook too quickly uh, because this is going to be very thick. You want it to slowly cook its way through, otherwise uh, the bottom will burn before the top or the middle is cooked in. And no butter. Um, that's important. We put the butter in probably halfway. So, I'll get rid of the whisk. And I've got a clean spatula here, and in it goes. So just a tiny little bit of a sizzle. Um, I'm going to help it smooth out a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, level very well because yeah, the bubbles are just so beautiful. It sticks together as a foam. 
So once you're a couple minutes into cooking, it's time to season it. Um, a little sprinkle of salt and some fresh ground pepper. And you also just want to lift the edge up off the bottom and this is when you slip in a little bit of butter. And so the butter will melt underneath the omelet. I think we're ready to go. Look at that. Jiggly jiggly. Now for those of you out there worried that the egg isn't cooked, it's 175 degrees inside, um, which is cooked, definitely cooked. Uh, it just seems foamy because of the method. Now, just like the scrambled eggs we did last week, um, that creamy texture, uh, people associate it with raw eggs. Uh, in this case, it's all of that air that we whipped in, changed the protein structure, which allows most of this egg to stay in a very oozy, foam-like structure. Um, let's give it a taste. Quite nice. Um, the texture's amazing. Um, the texture is amazing. The flavor is definitely lacking. Um, it's very bland. Extremely bland. Uh, I would put next time into the omelet, after you've got it in the pan, I would put in, sprinkle on some ham or some, I've got some smoked salmon here. Let's try a little bit of smoked salmon with a little bit of the omelet. Yeah. So just that little bit extra really makes this omelet come alive. Now, if you go to the restaurant in Normandy, that's 49 euros. 49 euros for an omelet. That's a lot of money for an omelet. I like the omelet. I like the idea of this omelet. But I would add a whole lot more flavor to it just to push it over the top. Um, the way that it's made straight up on the Tasty Channel, eh, pretty bland. So give it a try. Check out the texture and put your own additives on it, like smoked salmon, um, like some grated cheese, throw some onions inside, um, kind of make it your own, and then, and then it would be something absolutely wonderful. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.